GScatter now features linked systems. A linked system is where all the effect layers for one scatter system are linked to work across two or more emitters, which means any changes made to one emitter's scatter system also occur on the other emitter. Let's go through how to set up a linked system. We have a plane here, which I've added a scatter system to, in this case, some great burdock. The emitter is indicated here in the emitter dropdown. And this is the scatter system, here in the G-Scatter Outliner. I've set up the scatter system with regard to distribution and scaling, etc., as I want it. Now, I've already set up another plane, and I've also made it into an emitter. If I want to use the same scatter system with the same effect layers, as per this emitter, plane 1, with the second emitter selected in the emitter drop-down, all I need to do is click on the Linked Systems button here, and select an available scatter system. In this case, for the purposes of the video, we've only added one scatter system, so that's the only one available. But any scatter system you add to your scene will be stored in this list, ready to be linked to other emitters. And that's it. As you can see, the scatter system has now spread across to the second emitter, so that it's now occupying both. This number here shows how many users, or in this case emitters, are sharing the same scatter system. And because the two emitters are now linked by that same scatter system, if I make any changes to any of the effect layers, those changes are shown to occur across both planes. Even if I add a new effect layer, let's say a Musgrave texture, this is also now part of the linked system and will affect both emitters. If you want to unlink emitters from a system, just click on the shared user number. The first thing you can see is that the scatter system name changes for the extra emitter. This is because there are now two versions of the same scatter system. However, if I make any changes to an effect layer, you can see that the effect still works across both emitters as if the scatter system is still linked. The reason for this is that when you unlink a scatter system, as we've just done, the effect layers inherit the shared users. You can see the shared user number for each effect layer. If you want to have the effect layers also work per emitter, you just need to click on that shared user number. You can now make changes to the scatter system for that emitter without affecting any other scatter system. You can choose to unshare all effect layers, a few or just one, depending on how you want to set up your scene. Thanks for watching.